Alright, hello, this is Demon coming back for another round of EU4. We're playing Denmark. So let's sit there and see what we dealt with last time, if I remember right. So we had the strategic alliances with Brandenburg and Bohemia. For some reason, we got into a personal unit. As I said, when I go back to review this, I'm going to see what the hell was going on down there in Bavaria. That invented us having a personal union with them. Not caring, I get another personal union, and that makes three of my four alliances focused on that. Uh, luckily Austria was no longer the HRE leader, so when they went, since they had the alliance with Brandenburg, they were actually weaker than what I was expecting, and Bohemia was actually more powerful than them. So the strategic alliance with Bohemia came in handy, along with having this personal unions with Sweden and Norway. So, um, if I remember correctly, we're pretty much getting pretty close to about nine years, well, less than nine, um, to being able to integrate either Sweden or Norway into our person and in, in gain control over them permanently um now i have made mentions that if we look at the liberty desire um most of our liberty desire is focused solely on sweden at 28 percent bavaria has about five um uh but it will also cause us 118 due to their total development i will actually do that that'll make them mad but if we can enforce our culture down there Let's see, does it switch? I don't know. Bavarian. I wonder if that's something that just occurs over time. We'll look into it. So we enforced our culture down there. We'll see what happens. So I'm hoping maybe it'll switch to us. Um, but the thing we're running currently into is that we're kind of one over on Diplo. So we have to basically wait for our little royal marriage with Bohemia, no, with Brandenburg to end. Which they're currently getting the crap beat out of them by the Pomeranians, so... We kind of are doing pretty good in that aspect. Also, I don't know why this game is so laggy right now. Let's go down to speed 3 for a little bit. Everything's running smooth, seems like it. Um, the other thing we're running into is we're getting a couple problems, is the fact that Sweden is, ge is getting very close to probably having some wars break out between us and Muscovy. Um, if Musco Muscovy declares war on us, I don't... I don't know how well we'll weather the storm, um, mainly because, if I think, I think I did rival them. No, I decided not to, but Muscovy already has an, an army strength of almost 34,000, manpower is pretty low at this point, and they have no cannon, so, if I get lucky, and it usually is when you play against Muscovy, they may not build many cannons, so as long as me, Sweden, and Norway keep a small complementary, like, re reinforcements and cannons, we probably should be able to beat them in fights. Um, but being Muscovy, they probably will send the Russian hordes after us, and we will get bent over and screwed. Um, but I don't know how it's going to work. We also have Bohemia on our side in Bavaria, so we'll have some reinforcements. And as long as... Ooh, that's right. We're going to do... Was it Max Promoted Cultures plus two, or we could go for Monthly Autonomy Change? I think... I think for what I have, the monthly autonomy change really would be a nice thing to get for once, but the max promoted cultures, how many do I have currently? Where is that at? Is that under Diplo? Yes. Let's see. So we only have Swedish we can promote, and I don't have any Norwegians, so... But I know if I form the Scandinavian nation, I will get access to them. I think we're going to go for Max Promoted Culture, so, um, just because this will really come in handy, because I feel, um, coming into the future, these two are going to get added, the Latvian, or Livonian, and Estonian, the Baltic states, we got to get these guys, um, promoted to our culture group, so it'll prove vital to get them on our side. And also, I'm also getting text messages. So... Ooh, execute the bailiff, ignore complaints. Ooh, we have to execute, because I don't care about prestige at this point. Luckily, we're in the positive, though. I always notice that when I start the game out. I seem like I do really horribly on prestige, but over the course of time, I get better at it. Oops, still getting messages. Luckily, I went to the doctor, and they gave me some... And they gave me some antivirals. So now I'm feeling somewhat better, knowing that I'm going to have medication flooding through my systems, and hopefully it fixes every problem I had being sick. Still probably can tell from my voice that I sound like shit. Uh, I wonder if I should save the money or just build the damn workshop. Hmm. 
I don't know. I guess we'll hold off. We'll save some money up. And let's go back to speed four. Let's hope it maybe runs a little bit smoother. Yeah, there we go. A bit better. Ooh, defensive ideas. Do I want it or do I want the military tech at this point? Also, how's colonialism doing? <clears throat> well, we're actually about 14 years away. Alright, that finishes off my coffee. I feel like I should save it. On the other hand, yearly army tradition plus one. What's our army tradition currently? And it's the Kang at 1.27. We're at 25.4. Hmm. How much, how many points am I getting uh, per... Eh, plus six ain't bad. But I think I'll hold off on it. And then I really want to get the new Diplo tech too. So I think I'll save up. I can get the, I can start getting defensive ideas after this t military tech's done. <clears throat> also, we're at 6.33 ducats. So I vote... Let's see, what was I going to build? I think I was going to build a workshop. Oh wait, manufacturers. Not too many good ones yet. Oh, that one's going to be juicy right there, and this one too. Riga. Oh yes, I have the claim on them. So Riga's opinion on Denmark changed by minus 50. That I'm fine with. Okay, so we're actually we're getting ready to do that, that's right. <coughs> one second. <coughs> now I feel better. Uh, let's see. How much is upkeep cost on the cannon so far? 0.66. That's actually survivable. So we'll actually increase cannon count by that and get two more infantry divisions added to it. And then we'll actually go ahead, let's see, Riga. She has some good alliances. Hmm, I'm wondering if... Probably should get ready to get some forts built out here, but I could probably live with most of this land getting uh, siege down. And most of my galleys I can literally just throw right here next to Riga and they wouldn't be able to touch us. But I think, is Teutonic Order in this trade league? No. Lubeck is, but I don't think Lubeck has much of a fleet. Yeah, most of it's just the, yeah, most of that's just really outdated ships. They won't stand much of a chance in a fight. I think we go for war. Um, what is our coalition strength at currently? Lithuania hates us by negative 17, but Northern Europe doesn't really care about us. So I might be able to cheat in a Lubeck steel combined with a Riga steel. Because if we get Lubeck, that'll give us a ma the main, pretty much the main source of trade here. And also, does this have, does it say it? Yes, it is a level 2 coastal. So that'll increase our trade power in the Lubeck node, taking more power for us. Which will be good. Which will be good. Alright, so, 132, the army is set up. I vote you guys head down here now. And then we're going to hit Lubeck straight out of the gate. We're going to get our army guys down there. Um, you guys can actually head right here, get ready for the attacks. And then we'll go ahead and just start this bitch up. Now, who's all going to join us? Bohemia won't join, but we'll get Salzburg. Salzburg is an enemy, but Bavaria can kind of deal with them. Marburg, I think it's you. You should probably have like a 7k stack, probably. You have 8k. Brennan, another 8k. But I think between all of us, I think we can fight them off. Because I think tech-wise, how are tech? how's tech looking? They're at 7. I'm at 7. What would this give me, yearly army tradition? This is the big one I would want right here, that 15% morale modifier. But do they have cannons? That's the question. No, we might have the advantage because of cannons. Yeah, I don't think they can get cannons yet. So let's start it up. Because I don't even think Riga... Yeah, Riga doesn't have it either. So let's go ahead and just do it. Take Riga. Let's do it. And then you gentlemen... Push him. Take him out. Teach that fort down. Go ahead and get the new tech for you guys. Very good. Ooh, gain a stability point. I'll take that. That's very nice. 
Yeah, they're going to pretty much siege down most of the Baltic state, but I think if Sweden can kind of push its troops that way, we should be fine. Um, if the AIs were smart, they'd actually sit there and match all their troops up here and try to attack me, but they're not. Yeah, it looks like Sweden's actually going for the northern push, so they're going to hook around through Muscovy and go in and attack through the Baltics. And that'll give us Riga, that's a good one to get. Then we're going to hit Hamburg after we take out Lubeck. Also, I might want to get... Do I still have that explorer? Yes. Where is he? He is out here. I vote no leader. And we'll actually put the guy... He, he'll give us a small bonus to attacks and stuff. We'll put him into the main fleet of galleys so he, they have a little bit better modifiers. Then they should be able to beat Lubeck's fleet back. Oh good, Bavaria and Sweden are attacking them. That's very nice. However, Bavaria is getting assaulted pretty good. <laughs> but I definitely, I'm going to see about stealing Lubeck and getting um, Riga under our control. It'll probably piss off the Holy Roman Emperor, but I think it's just, what, Hassau? Oh no, it's Austria again. Ooh, that's, that's risky. Go ahead and hit him here. Let's see, what happens if I do this? Uh, let's see. We'll get a 42 aggressive expansion, and I'm... With penalty with 98 countries? Ooh. <sighs> Danish vassal. How much aggressive expansion is that? That'd piss off a lot of people, but it wouldn't be worth it. We could say give up claims in Denmark. How about this? Uh, you give me war reps. You will give up all claims in Denmark. That's doable. And then you'll give us all your money. And then we'll have you end all your alliances. And then that works with me. Well, actually, no, we can cancel that Riga one, because Riga's going to get taken. Oh, no, let me do that. And then... And that one with Riga. Okay, good. And then I think that's all I'd really want. I don't think there's really... There's nothing really else I'd want out of this. So we'll just begin the assault. We'll just hit them everywhere. What is this, a level 3-4? That's a level 3-4. Head back. Kill them. Yes. Massacres. Increase our prestige. And then Riga's getting a siege down. The only bad thing is if Bavaria deals with any offenses. I can't send troops their way to help them. <laughs> Although with all these battles going on, we're going to get a lot of war reps. So, yeah, Lubeck's getting low. They probably want to end this war. Yeah, there's Lubeck. Quebec's out of the war, they'll leave us alone now. How far away are we from... We're about, what? 20 years? No, 30. Yeah, that's right. Because it's, it's that plus 5. Or the minus 5%, so just 30. Good, we actually caught up on that tech a little bit, so that should help against Sweden. Yeah, they still got the Diplo tech on me, though, so they still have kind of an advantage. <laughs> you guys actually lost a ship. We will rebuild the galley. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about them sieging all that land up there down. My army can just go back and help guard it. I just really want to get rid of a lot of the uh, weaker states, because it's just more income for us to get. That way I can spend a little bit more on other things. Military leaders left us. No, we lost our explorer. 1494, we're about five years away. And I think I'm going to end up doing what I've been doing. I'm going to do like 30 minutes. Ooh. Ooh, we got 15 ducats. Very thankful. Very thankful. Let's see, we got to take out what? Bremen's, or no, we're doing Hamburg. Then we're going to head to Bremen. Then we're going to head to Mogburg. And then we're going to head to Salzburg. They really think they're doing something, but with only one fort being taken, they can't get here to this to this city, so it's like my mainland's guarded. Ooh, get a new one. Ah, uh, aggressive expansion's already in. We will aim for... What's this? Double desire. Ooh, very nice. I didn't know I could get that. That's really helpful for the early bits, because that'll keep all these guys shutting up. Probably should have picked that up originally. That really would have saved me a lot of problems. Um, 
135 ducats, prestige down by 10. I'm not taking this city. Free money. Very nice. Hit you, Bremen. Ooh. Head away. New leader. Not great, but not bad either. And then you guys are there. We're we'll gonna take their money. War reps. Anything else I want. You'll end your alliance with Bremen. And I think that's it. Go and take that. That makes them shut up for a bit. And then Bavaria is going for the siege there. Wow, Sweden is still under the attacks up there. Wow. 10 prestige hit or a 50 diplo. We'll take the diplo. I don't want to lose prestige right now. Now, is this a level 3 fort or a level 1? Wow, they really upgraded their forts. That's a shocker. Usually they don't upgrade them. There's the one that doesn't upgrade. I don't really care if you made a military alliance with them. They're already out of the war. And again, they can't even get to me. They're, they're just stuck where they're at. And I know they don't have cannons. So that, that just hurts them more. God damn you, virus protection. My PC has a condom. Fuck you. Okay. It's good. That guy's still doing that. I wonder how much longer... Oh my god, Brandenburg is nothing. One war. One war was all it took. And it was against me. And, they get, and they're that dead. They only have what? Altmark and Stoneberg, which if Brandon, if Bohemia wanted to, they could probably kick their ass. And since Ooh. Austria is the HRE leader again, this makes it kind of terrifying. <laughs> Good, that city's nearly done. Is Salzburg been sieged down? No, it doesn't look like anybody went after them yet. My big concern is going to be any rebels that pop up down in Bavaria, because I won't have a way to help them. Zerders, yeah, that fort's almost down. Ooh, best in a new technology. We will hold off. It's, it's one more year and we can get that tech up. Same thing with the Diplo, we'll hold out for Diplo. Come on boys, do it. Destroy them. Give me power. The power is mine. And the mod work now. Same thing with these guys. I want your money. End your alliance with military access. That I don't care about. But do end your alliance. And give me war reps. And then I'll wait for my army to arrive there. Aren't you guys still going? Go. High war exhaustion. Yeah, I figured that's going up. I just want to end all these battles, though. These are just so worth it. If we get rid of all these guys, we get all their money. It gives us more war experience. They end up getting screwed more. Sweden's armies at currently they're just holding out near here <laughs> well they're heading northwest I wonder why okay we're nearing the end bam okay pause it best more military power. The fun thing is that they, they sieged down all my lands, but they didn't help Regal. It's like, what was the point in that? We'll do that. I got no choice but to accept it at this point. What's this? Missionary strength plus 10, but we're not doing anything with it. I'm not going to switch religions. I'm going to stay Catholic. At 
least that's my plan for it. I don't re really want to switch out of Catholicism. Got Modberg, head down to... Actually, head down to Bavaria. We're just going to de-siege most of our land. I want to help them. And then Modberg. Why do we have this up? You guys can deal with that. That way, if there's anything that goes up through there, we can deal with them. Ooh, you're going to give up all claims of Bohemia. Because I actually want to keep Bohemia on my side. And then you'll end your alliance with them. And them and them and then I pretty much like that it's a good deal <laughs> now it's just down to Riga and Salzburg and I don't have enough military strength so I'm gonna help Bavaria out as best I can I'm gonna go ahead and destroy the walls and since we have so much money saved up let's invest there we go investments in anywhere else to put trade here very good then I think that's what we'll hold off for for a little bit. Disputed secessions. Baden, Nassau, Portugal, Mecklenburg. Not bad. Not a fair of them. This is a level 2 fort, so they do have a main fort here. Where is their capital located? Down here. So this will de-siege a lot of their own lands. And then how much does it cost Diplo? We'll go ahead and do that. Just to help sedate it for a bit. Now... My big question is, is this a forest anywhere through here? No. Farmland. Ooh, that'd be a great fort location if I could take that. I'm hoping the HRE goes through, like, a big religious war. <laughs> okay, good. We got that. Go ahead and head down here. You guys will help DC to that. Bavaria's getting its own lands back, though. This will ensure the Bavaria at least stays somewhat stable. Calls for peace, my ass. We will continue the war until all our enemies have surrendered. I want your money, I want war reps. I don't care about those things. And your alliance. Alliance. That's all I care about. Then this siege should almost be done. Yep, siege is done. Head down to Salzburg. End this. <laughs> this will help Bohemia out. That way, if it suffers anything. And then to actually help them out a little bit, we will do economy. We will send a gift. 100 ducats. That'll help them. That'll help them economically for a bit. At least I feel it will, because that'll give them a bit more money to use. Although I don't know where their armies are all stationed at, but it seems like this war is pretty much over. Yeah, the walls are already down. This fight's nearly done. Yihime, are you worth anybody? No, you're at peace. Good. Surprised I still, I'm still surprised this damn royal marriage with Brandenburg still ongoing. I figured that would have ended by now. If I actually could get really lucky, I could see Bohemia becoming another personal union of mine. <laughs> oh yeah, I nearly forgot. Improve relations. Take one of you off of that and put the other one on. Allies. Oh, We'll take that. I got no choice. You guys almost done. Or Salzburg's almost done. Get it, boys. Get you some of that. Get you some of that. Damn it. Quickly, quickly. Okay, we're good. And then you guys just head back up here. I'll actually wait till they get out of the territories before I do it. That's the treaty I want. Queen's consorts. I like that one. I get free Diplo. Bam. Good. Good. And then we'll do the thing with Rika, and then this is war is over.
Bam. <clears throat> Very nice. Very nice war. 121? And there's that revolt I was waiting for. Head up here, boys. That's what I was waiting for. I knew this was coming. I figured with so much fighting going on, there was going to be a rebellion somewhere. Now, where are other rebellions possibly going to pick up? Bavaria. There we go. You guys got it. That's the one I'm really terrified about, is the Bavarian one. I could pop... Yeah, they're going to have a 12k rebellion, and then a 15k. Now, can I force them to give autonomy? No. Which really sucks. But it might die off as time goes on, because... Uh, Theoretically, uh, they're going to be getting their war exhaustion down. I think most of that's just from war exhaustion. Yeah, it's 30%. Let's see what happens. It should die off a little bit. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to hire some mercs down there to help them out. How much money we got income-wise? 5.88. Not bad. Now, the big question is... I don't really have much else to work on. Ooh, workshop. Got them. And then Riga's actually going to be guarding a lot of this territory. It's got what? This, this, and this it's guarding. I probably need another one. I could probably put another fort right here. And then put the other one over here. That will lower my income. How much more are we getting for more reps? Two ducats. Wow. Oh, and there's Muscovy, the freaking juggernaut of the east. Oh, man. I don't know how this war with Muscovy is going to work out, man. This will be a bad one. Alright, so what's this? Force the merchants to lower the prices. We should not meddle in these things. We must pay for what there... We must pay for distribute what bread there is. So if we do this one, it will give us minus 20 loyalty and it'll piss them off greatly. Uh, we get peasant regime build up in Gotland, which I can't deal with in the other... Or we could just say we must pay for and distribute what bread there is. I mean, that's the one I'll do. I got the money built up for it. Wait a minute, who the hell's doing this? Is this Loonberg? Oh, wait. wait. Who is this? Damn it. It's these guys. Oh, it's a war with Galray. <laughs> oh, yes, and we're out of it. Begin integrations. Yes. Norway is being taken for the crown. And once we take Norway, we will have Iceland, which should... The word big is should... Give us the ability to get stuff further west. Catholicism reformed desire, but place to. Uh, so so wait a minute. I'd rather do that, cause I can get the plus one in stability already. This is another one I like. This one's nice, cause it just increases your trade power. Now, is there anybody else that has, like, colonies forming anywhere? Probably not, but I am concerned about it. <laughs> well, actually, no. Wait. Portugal doesn't have a colony starting here. Usually, they're the ones that always get Africa first, so I'm wondering if there is any. The only bad thing is, is I really need the, um... I really can't go for much trade-wise. I, I think I'm going to have to get most of mine from Canada. Ooh, nice. Army tradition. Next one's is that, and then we're gonna have to get colonists because once Norway's done, I'm gonna have to put a heavy focus on getting this Diplo stuff done. Luckily, the next leader, once this guy dies, is um he's gonna give us the three mer or three in that. So do I five prestige, twenty-five military power. I will take the military power. Is um, once this guy dies, it'll actually it'll give us less, two less in military and two less or one less in diplo or uh, admin, but we'll get that plus three in diplo. So this will actually let us get this uh, exploration ideas done fast. Although with diplo tech being so so far behind, I don't know how much longer this is gonna last. <laughs> it's 
the big problem I have at the moment. 